So, some of you have been asking me if I can show you how to compile plugins for PCB rack. Uh, so, uh, I decided that it was better to make a, a video try, trying to explain the like the process of compiling rack in one of the of the modules. But I'm gonna make it very basic, and I'm gonna also make it on Windows. So in this case, I'm using my Windows laptop, but is uh, I actually don't have access to it right now, and I'm connecting remotely, so it's gonna be a little bit slow. But that's uh, the only way that I can do it now. So the first thing that you need to do is go into the VCB rack a GitHub page. You can see the, the address here. And once you are in this page, uh, most of the steps are, are described. So we're going to go to the Windows section. The first thing it says is that you need to install MCS2. So if you just click here, it's going to show this page. And from here, you need to install this version, the 86 underscore 64. So once you download it and install it, you're, uh, you're going to get the development tools. I'm not going to do it because I, I already have it installed. But in this same page, there is a, a guide uh, on the thing that you're going to see. So it's going to ask you to to install, to specify a, a directory where it's going to be installed. I leave the default directory. And once it finishes installing, uh, it will ask you to run, uh, if, if, if you want to run the terminal. So just don't run it from here. And what we are going to do is just uh, take it from here, uh, start searching for MCs and you're gonna get this version uh, but you need to be careful is mean GW 64 bit this is the one that you need otherwise uh, nothing is gonna work if, if you are not careful selecting this one so this opens this terminal and one thing that is recommended here is that you, in order to update, you need to run this command. So just type it pacman syu. Run command pacman. Like that. So you're gonna get this question if you want to. Update those packages. I'm gonna just type yes. So it's gonna download the packages and install them. So once this finishes, it may ask you to, to close the terminal and open it again. I'm going to do so. I'm just going to close it and open it again, even though in this case it was not necessary. We search again, MCs, and get the 64-bit. So now let's go back to the rack page. So here is specified that you these are the packages that you will need to compile. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it. In order to paste it, you need to right click and you can use paste here. So it's gonna ask you if, if you want to install the packages. Yeah, proceed. And this is gonna take some time as, again.
Okay, once the packages are installed, we should have all the tools that we need to build hack. But okay, you need to be careful here because this thing doesn't work on Windows XP. So you need to be on Windows 7 or Windows 10. I'm on Windows 10 and with this, everything should work fine. So next thing that, that we have to do is getting the source code of Rack. To get it, uh, we're going to copy this address that is found here. And if you have never used Git before, just type this command and it's going to work. So we need to do git clone and paste the address. So this is downloading the, the whole repository with the hack code and it's done. So right now the whole source code it's should be in this location. In my case, since my username is Leonardo, it's under my local drive mc 64 home Leonardo and here I have the rack code which is what I downloaded so next step we already did this we need to initialize the submodules what this does is, uh, since Rack depends in other projects, it needs to get uh, the source code for these projects. So we are gonna we need to enter the directory of Rack, which is cd Rack, and with that we're inside the directory. So let's just paste the command. And that's it. It's initialized. Next step is, mm, well, in this case, we are building the, the master version of uh, Rack, which at this moment it's uh, version 0 0.5. If you would like to build any other version, you need to execute this command, which uh, this is for the version 0 0.4, which we're, we're not doing right now, we want to build the, the development version. Then we need to build all the dependencies and it's with this command, make dep. Since my laptop has multiple cores, I'm gonna specify how many cores I want to use with dash J4. So this is gonna start building all the dependencies uh, with four cores. And this is going to take quite a while. So I will have to stop the video and come back in half an hour or so because my laptop is it's really slow. At this time the, the dependencies are built. And next thing that you need to do is to run the make command. I'm going to add as well four cores. This is much faster. Okay, that's it. Then to run what you just compiled, you need to use a specify there, make run. So this will launch rack. And we have a version, the latest version, but it doesn't have any plugin or anything. If we check here, it only has the core. So what we are going to do next is uh, compiling fundamental. To compile fundamental, we have to get the source code. So we just click here to, to go to the Rack project and get fundamental. 
in the same the same process that we did before we copy the address from here and we need to clone the plugins specifically in the plugin directory so we go to the plugins directory we do git clone we paste the address then we just enter to the to the folder and important again we are running we are building the development version uh, if we want to build a specific version we need to check which branch is what we want what we are building so once we're here we just run make or make dash j4 to compile in parallel And that's it, it's built. We can go one level up, two levels up, and run hack again. And now we should see fundamental in the list. So the process of uh, building these plugins, uh, it's, you, you will have to download the source code and, and, and follow very similar steps in the case of the of the rack uh, the rack plugins it, there is usually a, a description of the step that you need to follow but it's basically the same this whole process automatically uh, and Nick Ye Yewell has collected these scripts uh, that the uh, that check out the, the source code, uh, change to the appropriate versions and run everything. So once you have set up the terminal with the build dependencies, you can uh, run these scripts and that will build everything. So this is the this is the web address. Check it out and if you need if you need or want to build everything, this is gonna simplify simplify for you 